Just a little more than two hours after they began deliberating, the jury returned a guilty verdict in the murder trial of Daniel Lopez. It was a murder that prosecutors called the case of vigilante justice. The victim was beaten, suffocated, dismembered, and parts of his body set on fire. Paul Vidima in court as each side wrapped up their case. Daniel Lopez's lawyer got right to what he insisted was the point. There is no evidence to convict him of this murder. He's talking about the September 2014 murder of 35-year-old Jose Luis Menchaca. He was beaten with baseball bats, strangled, dismembered, and his limbs partially burned on a backyard barbecue grill. That's what the state's witnesses told the jury. The stories are so different. They're so lost in their cloud of dust. They told how Menchaca was lured to this home on orders from Lopez. He was angry, they testified, because Menchaca had stabbed him a few days earlier. Prosecutors agreed with Bunk that many of their witnesses were of questionable character, but they insisted that they were telling the truth. Including their account of Menchaca's death. The last thing he hears is Daniel Lopez standing over his body telling him, I am your God now. The motive for Menchaca's murder, prosecutors argued, was revenge for that stabbing. Daniel Lopez orchestrated a plan to exact a perverted form of vigilante justice. Paul Venema, case at 12 News. Lopez will be sentenced at a later date by the judge following a pre-sentencing investigation. His girlfriend, Candy Dominguez, has pled guilty for her role in the murder. She, too, is awaiting sentencing. Gabriel Moreno, who is also accused of Menchaca's murder in jail, waiting for his day in court.